So in today's video, we'll be using a spark again. I'm going to show you two different modes. One's the tap and fly and one's the tripod mode. Now, just to tell you a little bit of information about the tap, tap and fly. All it is really is guys, you can fly the drone without using your controller at all. So you don't have to use the sticks. It's all on the screen. You can obviously set up the drone first on the controller. Once you've got it in the place that you want it to be, the rest is on screen. Obviously go into your flight intelligent mode, follow your instructions. It is pretty simplified on the screen itself. I'll show you that. Has it got any use? <laughs> the only use I can see is you don't need the controller. You can just move it about on screen while it's traveling to its, the place that you want it to go. You can change the direction. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work. This is why I think it's a little bit gimmicky. But other than that, yes, there's something to mess about with if you've got a bit of time. Don't forget about the battery time because you've only got about 15 minutes, if that. Um, the other thing is, I'll be showing you also the tripod mode. Now, the tripod mode is really useful, especially if you're flying. Where I am today, you can't see at the moment, we're, we've got some woods here. So we're flying in the woods, going in and out of the trees. Now, it will work. It, the avoidance thing will be on so just remember that as well so the drone will stop if it gets too close to something i believe you can turn it off if you want to but i'm going to keep the tri the avoidance thing on but first i'm going to show you how the tap and fly works <laughs> meet spark small colorful smart a powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere it's so clever it activates by recognizing you just launch it from the palm of your hand it even returns when you call it and land like this easy can't get everyone in the shot no problem Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and come home safely. Think you got smooth moves? Spark's footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those epic shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. Spark your aerial creativity anywhere. All you need to do is seize the moment. So, I'm going to set the drone up. Okay, everything's ready. Okay. So, here we are. Here's the controller. Well, the first thing you want to do is to get the drone up in the air. So we just set it off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Okay. Please check it on the we'll map. Just turn the drone around. I'll just bring it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's that. We go into the flight intelligent mode, which is on the left. Now, if you look on the screen, you see the tap and fly. Now, here on the right hand side is the distance no sorry not the distance it's the speed so i'm going to bring the speed down a little bit so we got six we do four miles per hour okay 
So everything's going there. Right, over on your left hand side, you see the, the tap and fly thing. We just go back into that, sorry. Should have pressed the wrong button. Right, so there's, it's working out the land there. So, if I press it now, where it's saying go, the drone will go off in that direction. There it goes. Now if I want to, I can make it go over to the left. The drone will go over that direction. Okay. Now if I want to stop it, I'll just press the X. Okay. Now I can take control of that again, bring the drone back. We'll just do it again. So you get some idea. To me, you know, it's, it's a bit gimmicky. Let's bring it back again. So on the screen, you just tap the screen where you want the drone to go. Okay, so it's too close. Well, this is where I say it just gets a little bit gimmicky now because it's not doing too close. Okay, what I'll do, I'll just take it out a bit. Okay, let's do it again. Right. So what it was, the drone was a little bit too close to me so like all things, it's all trial and error. So do it again. No, bring it up a bit higher. So it's doing it again now. This is what I didn't like about the thing. Okay, now it's saying go. So it's off it goes. Now if I wanted to, I can change direction over that way. Off it goes. So that that's... A quick demonstration on the um, to stop that. Let's just bring it up. So you can take control of the drone if you feel that it's not going where it's wanted to go. You can always take control, bring it back. Uh, the other thing is, obviously, if you go on to the middle button there, that'll take you out of the the tap and fly. So now I'm going to show you the tripod mode. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find some trees. We've got some over there. We press the tripod. It tells you what you wanna know about it. Okay. So off we go. Now I've got it on about three to four miles per hour. So it's, it's pretty, pretty slow. So we're gonna, no, no, also don't forget guys, I'm just gonna maneuver. There's a tree branch hanging down. We'll see if we can fly underneath that. I'm also trying to show the controllers while I'm walking. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm just bring it over a bit. Now it's stopped now because it's obviously found something it didn't like. Let's see if we can go under that. Bring it up a little bit. It, I think it's gonna stop somehow. Okay, bring it over. Just bring it back, bring it up, bring it back. With my wobbly finger. Okay, we'll just try another bit there. Keeping an eye on the battery power as well. You've got 61%. I'll just turn it around. So look, it's going so slowly. Well, we're going underneath, underneath this branch now. So this is pretty good for you going in a, a, you know, like a, like a forest. So we're just going to try that. Okay, we're gonna go over this way. We're gonna go into this bit here. Okay.
but that didn't go too bad like i said before it is a bit gimmicky it can if you don't get it set right it will won't do anything but if you mess about you you eventually be able to control the drone on the screen now i didn't go too much into it but you got the gist of it so once you tap it on the screen the drone will go there if you feel like things are not going right there's a little red cross you can tap out of that um like i said before what benefit has that got really i don't think so especially if you're learning to fly a drone not really good idea but anyway it's there have a go at it have a mess uh, the tripod mode i prefer the tripod mode mode more because um you can go really slow i mean i i could have made the drone go even slower if i wanted to i just wanted to show you just going through the trees now don't forget also the avoidance is on at that time if the drone stops um it won't move so if you find that happens just either bring the drone back or realign it away from the trees and it will carry on i i used to enjoy that mode especially the, the tripod mode now just a little bit of a tip what i've noticed with the spark sometimes because don't forget this is a, a wi-fi drone there's that when you set it all up sometimes it, it won't connect it's saying it's disconnected come out of it especially with the uh the, the go the dji go 4 app come out of it go back in uh and you should see it come up it, the wi-fi will pick up the spark uh, and it, it'll be connected i just noticed that that does seem to happen you think hang on i've done all, i've put the controller on i put the drone on and the screen saying it's disconnected so just a bit of a tip there just come out of the app go back in and it should just reconnect so as i will say guys i hope you enjoy these videos anyway i'm going to show you in the next video the sports mode <laughs> this so this you can turn this drone into an FPV, sort of. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it in the next video. Anyway, fly safe and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. What a lovely day.